Tips for success for exercise set 2.5, finding camp counterexamples, from a workbook for arguments by Morrow and Weston. Remember that a counterexample is an example that counts against a generalization. Consider the generalization, all birds can fly. It's a generalization about birds. It says that all members of the group birds can fly. A counterexample to that generalization would be a bird that can't fly. Penguins are a counterexample to the generalization. So are ostriches. And so, unfortunately for them, were dodo birds. In order to decide whether something is a counterexample to a particular generalization, you'll need to think about the same questions you asked yourself in exercise sets 2.1 and 2.2. What type of things is the generalization about? What does the generalization say about this type of thing? A counterexample must be the right type of thing. If your generalization is about birds, your counterexample must be a bird. Furthermore, your counterexample must contradict the generalization. If the generalization says that birds can fly, your counterexample must be a bird that is not able to fly. Many logicians, philosophers, and mathematicians use the word counterexample to refer specifically to an example that disproves a universal generalization. A universal generalization is a generalization that says something about all members of a group. For example, all birds can fly. You might also think of counterexamples in a less technical sense as exceptions to generalizations, or even non-universal generalizations. In this weaker sense of counterexample, the rainforests of Norway and Alaska are counterexamples to the generalization that most rainforests are in the tropics. While this exercise focuses exclusively on universal generalizations, it'll be important to keep this weaker sense of counterexample in mind for later exercises. Remember that not all counterarguments count as counterexamples. A counterargument to a generalization is just any argument for thinking that the generalization is false. A counterexample has to be an example of a member of the relevant group that is an exception to the generalization. Now, if that didn't make any sense, here's an example that will clarify the point. My history teacher told me that there was a U.S. president who never married is a counter-argument to the generalization that all U.S. presidents have been married. However, it's not a counter-example. The only counter-example to the generalization that all U.S. presidents have married is James Buchanan, the 15th president of the United States, the only president who never married.